woman is dead and a Brookville police officer is hurt after shooting at a Speedway gas station. Now, police have made an arrest in the case after finding the getaway car. Two News reporter Jake Ryle is live with breaking news. Jake? Well, Brooke and John, it certainly happened just over the matter of about 15 to 20 minutes ago. In fact, I want to give you a look here. This is where the center of the investigation really came to an end. It's the white RV that you see here in a lot in the 7400 block of Brookville Phillipsburg Road. And we do know we were there when a suspect was taken out of that RV and into the back of one of these cruisers here at the scene. That suspect matched the description of the one that had been arrested from a shooting that happened overnight. Uh, that was an officer involved shooting. Now we were here when police officers were speeding down the road, just trying to find this uh, this suspect. Uh, they were able to find him inside of that white RV. Now we do know that that car also was uh, found here within the area. In fact, I want to give you a look as you're able to see uh, just down the way over here. Uh, you're able to see uh, the suspect's car is actually down by where that police officer's vehicle is. So it's only about maybe a quarter mile or so away from where they actually ended up finding uh, the. The suspect wanted in connection with this officer involved shooting. This all really unfolded from that 640 time frame all the way up until about 740. So within the about a span of an hour, police were able to find the the uh, the vehicle that was used in that shooting, and then they were also able to find that suspect, as we mentioned, in that white RV just behind us here. Now, we're going to be continuing to monitor the situation. We're hoping to speak with officials here at the scene to try to find out exactly what took place here. We do know that no shots were fired. This was a peaceful ending uh, to this uh, incident that unfolded here in uh, northwest Montgomery County. For now, reporting live in Clay Township, Jake Ryle, 2 News Today, working for you.